I'm doing pop culture, entertainment, things like that. And sometimes you read an article for the first time and you're like, what's this? Giant Depp disdains UK royal family? All right, I doubt it, but I'll check it out. Then you read it and you're like, hmm, I wonder if this is true. Did he say that? Then you check out the full context and you're like, wait a minute, that was just a joke. Obviously, he didn't mean it. There was an audience there who was laughing, but they want to make it out like giant depth disdains or something against the royal family. It's from the international news. They're not doing so good lately. They write like a paragraph and a half for articles, usually against Johnny. This one's from September 2nd, 2022. Let's see what we got. Giant Depp is one of the high-profile Hollywood personalities who does not follow the British royal family on Instagram. Okay, fair enough. The actor has amassed more than 27 million followers on Instagram after his popularity grew following his court victory against Amber Heard. The Hollywood star only follows 157 people on the photo and sharing app, and none of them includes any account associated with the British royal family. Well, okay, first of all, 157 is not a huge number by any means, to be following literally everyone. Now the thing is, in my opinion, gotta throw it out there, Johnny is a rocker, he's an actor, he's an artistic, creative kind of guy, and the Royals are just not, whatsoever, anything like him. So I follow people like-minded to myself. Not always, but usually. There's gonna be something in common we're gonna talk about. We're going to discuss. Maybe they have a platform or something. Maybe I'm following NASA for space exploration or something random like that. Some random interest. But, you know, the core of it, the bulk of it's going to be similar minds. Johnny follows lots of musicians and other actors, things like that. The Royals just don't really have anything to do with him whatsoever. Johnny also follows a YouTuber named Incredibly Average, which is uh, pretty cool too. All right, my personal two cents there. Let's see what else we got. While the reason behind Depp's reluctance to follow the Royals is unknown, one of his old interviews gives an idea of how much importance he gives the members of the British royal family. Again, it wasn't actually an interview because it was like on a couch with a couple of other big name actors, things like that. So it wasn't like a one-on-one serious thing. In the interview, he was asked about his meeting with Prince Charles. Depp jokingly said that he shook hand with the Prince of Wales and couldn't understand a word Charles said to him. The actor also mimicked the future king during the interview. Alright, so at least they said jokingly there. But the whole narrative of the article is not one where they're advertising it and marketing it like it was this humorous thing Johnny said. The title flat out is serious. And I think Johnny kind of does impersonations. Can't quite remember, but I think it's just something he does anyway. A lot of actors do it. And here it is. What he said was, I didn't understand the word he said, or probably a word he said. Subtitles are never perfect. And I don't think he understood the word I said. Ah, so they left that part out. See, that's kind of a really important thing. Johnny's saying, we weren't understanding each other. Not like, I'm an elitist American and I just don't understand him. He was saying it was mutual. So it wasn't very meaningful, necessarily. Fine. Does that really mean you gotta write an article in September 2022 that says Johnny Depp disdains the royal family? Alright, they got the question mark. They got one word saying jokingly there. But on the whole, looks like they want you to think, Maybe Johnny's got something out for the royal family because he doesn't follow them on Instagram and he said this. However, they do mention Johnny's got 27 million followers on Instagram, so negative or not or neutral or smear, they're putting out a positive thing there. What someone should get from this if they take one thing away who doesn't know much about Johnny or Amber or Virginia or any of that is Johnny's got a ton of followers and a huge fan base. So if they hear, I don't know, fake news, like Johnny's fans are all trolls and bots, they could be like, wait a minute, this guy has got a lot of fans. Oh, wait, they're supposed to think 27 million are bots or whatnot. I mean, that couldn't be true. You know why? Because Johnny's not a fresh face 
in stardom, he's been around since the early 80s. And most stars who are still relevant from the early 80s have a pretty big following. Anyway, let me know what you think down below. If you've been checking out my videos, you're subscribed here, running slightly behind, wanted to get something out. I'm also going to cover the Rings of Power little situation. I'm a huge Lord of the Rings fan, and there's so much news about it. I'm just going to start making a couple of videos. Why not? On top of the entertainment stuff and Johnny stuff and Manson stuff. And if you're not subscribed here, consider it. And if you don't, I mean, if you don't subscribe or if you don't consider it, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.